did you do that? How did you do that? Today is December 6, uh, 2017, and it's 9.45. Came from the gym, did my workout, stick to the plan, and did what I had to do, and then come home. This is what happened when I'm on a plan. I tend to follow the thing and then make it quick because I time myself between each exercises. But I had some difficulties. So before I get into today's workout, I want to backtrack yesterday. Uh, yesterday was my off day. I didn't go to the gym. I got up, weigh myself. Uh, and then uh, during the day, I had a foot, uh, an Asian foot. I don't know what it's called. But um, when I tasted it, it, uh, it had an after, uh, after taste, a taste that I didn't like after it. But it was very sweet. So the first time that I ate it, I thought maybe it's because of uh, food that I ate, very spicy food and it left that uh, sort of cottage cheese kind of uh, thickness in my mouth. I had to spit the thing out. And uh, the following day, I, I mean, uh, the next time that I ate the, uh, on the same food, but the next time that I ate it, because I bought four of them, the next time that I ate it, I had the same feeling, but the food was very sweet. So I had two more left and I was like, damn, uh, if, I don't like that aftertaste, but the damn food is really good. I was going to throw them away. Then I thought, oh, try oatmeal cookies. So yesterday, my plan was to wash it, uh, dice it, and then put it in the freezer uh, to mix it with, uh, uh, what is that, uh, pumpkin. Uh, the kids' pumpkin. I uh, After they finished did their school project, I was going to... Uh, well, I will. It's still in the freezer. I was going to make uh, oatmeal cookies with them. So I was going to mix some of the, that food, uh, the Asian food. It may not be Asian, but a lot of Asian eat it. Uh, to mix it with the pumpkin to make the oatmeal cookies. So while in the process of doing it, even though I was busy all day and my time was behind the computer. So when I finally got to it, uh, I diced it and I was like, oh, let me blend it and then put it in the freezer. Blending come into making the damn cookies out of it. So only that foot, I made cookies out of it. Actually, I was not going to record showing you guys what I was doing. So at first, I was going to peel it, take the skin off. But I, I was thinking usually some of the, you know, vitamin and nutrients are in the skin. So what I decided to do is leave the skin. So I'm just going to cut these. As a matter of fact, maybe later on, I'm not going to put in the freezer right away. Maybe later on, I'll blend them. Um, but right now, I don't want to spend too much time on this um, because I have a lot of other things to do. So um, if I do blend it later, I will show you guys. So for now, since I'm already here, while I was waiting for the water to boil, I decided to record so um when i finish whatever it is that i'm doing in the computer i'll come back or when i'm preparing my lunch i will take the blender and blend it and put it in the freezer so that way i'll cut my work time 
when I'm ready to make the oatmeal cookies. So I actually was gonna put it in the freezer, you know, in cubes like that. As I'm cutting this, I'm thinking I should blend it too and then just put it in the freezer um, when, when I'm done. So that will, I will do that later, maybe when I'm um, preparing my lunch. So that's it for now. And I think the reason I did that is that I was like, I do not, if that aftertaste, if it doesn't come out the way that I like it, and I still have that aftertaste uh, along with, uh, if I mix it with the, uh, what is it, the pumpkin, it's going to be ruined. So I made it by itself. So the only um, supplement that I added in that uh, cookies is uh, uh, protein powder. That because I didn't want to put anything else because that's all I have. My creatine, my uh, BCAA, uh, all gone. Uh, it's finished, but I never replaced it. So I only have a uh, protein left. So I put a scoop of protein in. Okay, so what I've done here, um, after I remove it from the blender, I put it in this bowl to manage it. So I decided that I'm going to make it right now <laughs> since it's not a lot. So I had put some oats and I've put some raisins and some dry berries. Right? So I'm going to put these away. And uh, right now the only thing I'm going to put is a scoop of uh, protein powder. The reason I'm going to put the protein powder is because I am going to eat it after my workout. Okay, so that will be a cookies for my post-workout. So I'm putting protein in there. And this is kind of like too thick. Because I left the skin of that fruit in it. So it's kind of thick. So let me warm up the stove. And then mix it and I baked it. And I ate it on my way here after my workout. That damn thing tastes really good. It actually was too sweet and I felt bad that I made it by itself where I could have uh, mixed it with the pumpkin because the pumpkin has no, uh, has no that natural sweetness in it because I do not put any sugar in, in my oatmeal cookies. I use the fruits sugar to put uh, as the sugar for the cookies and then i'll add uh what is it raisins and some dry uh, uh fruits in it so that add a little bit of sugar in it but the main sugar is from the food itself so that thing was really sweet i really like it and it actually was too sweet for me because of the uh raisin that i add in it so then last night when i weigh myself I usually do that because my phone is always with me so it, it just it become a habit of uh, where, uh, when I'm weighing myself to record it so I weigh myself and it was 129 or 128 something like that okay let's see how that went I didn't eat that uh... was that that pork I didn't eat it it didn't go too well with my stomach. Huh? What happened? The kids must have stepped on it. Let's check it again. One more time. Okay. So the first one, I think the kids stepped on it. I hope the battery is not going to be finished. And then usually after I, uh, it finishes shows my weight, it will tell me how much I lose during the day. There was none. It, I thought the kids had stepped on the, on the scale and it sort of messed up uh, the numbers. Usually I try to weigh myself uh, later. Uh, it, no, when I get up, I weigh myself and uh, they don't really step on it that often. Only when they see me doing it, then they will step on it. Um, so the difference shows, uh, it wasn't even a number. It was like a, it seemed like it says N-O-N -O or something like that. So I was like, okay, what happened? So I stepped on it again and it shows the same thing. Then when I was writing my weight on my book, my food log, and I look what it was in the morning, it was the same thing. So I didn't lose anything yesterday. So and i was a bit skeptical i thought i was gonna be like 130 ish or something 
because I ate the there's a, a pork shoulder uh, my cousin gave me for Thanksgiving and uh, it's been in the refrigerator for a while and I was gonna throw it away but I like the skin so I cut the skin off the fat out and tried to get just the skin and while I had the cookies baking in the uh, in the stove I put it back in the stove to drain all the 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 fat out even though I you know remove the fat I have it and we I record it I'll show you guys uh, so I came to check on the the cookies it's not ready yet before you know it I have to go pick up my kid my kids at the bus stop so since I have the cookies in the stove this is something um, from uh, was a pork shoulder from Thanksgiving so there's a lot of fat in it they forced us to take it because there were a lot of food um, I didn't want to take anything with me, especially this, because of the fattening in it. But we have it here, and it's mostly fat. One thing that I like about pork shoulder is the skin. So I took all the fat out. Actually, there's still some more in there. So I could eat um, <laughs> the skin. The thing is that I think I, it's okay that I eat it because I didn't really eat anything today with the exception of uh, the crackers so that's the only reason why I'm eating that and I'm removing all the fat and I'm gonna put it under the stove so it could get dry some more alright so this is all the fat this is not for how do you call these people who don't eat meat so yeah I just wanted to show you I'm cheating on my well it's not really a diet but just showing you just because I didn't eat the uh, crazy stuff throughout the day I could have that so that's it and this is for the kids that's the ground meat I made yesterday so I'm warming it up for them because soon I'm gonna pick them up so yeah I'm not gonna eat that yet I need to dry it some more to get some of the fat out and then I you know I try to get as many uh, fat out, uh, out out of the skin so I ate a little bit of it oh my god not that it, it tastes good don't get me wrong but I just wanted to throw up my it seems like I guess I cleansed my body I have even for Thanksgiving I didn't even eat it uh, what I ate for Thanksgiving is two turkey wings uh, some rice and salad that was it I didn't even taste uh, all the other stuff that they had so when we were leaving my cousin said take some food because there's too much food left and things like that so she left us uh, she gave us the pork shoulder but thinking my husband will eat it because he eats anything anyway so it's been sitting in the refrigerator and he actually said there's too much fat in it so when i was cutting the fat out there were some pieces of meat left in it so I, I cut it out for him remove all the fat and give him that for dinner and he actually liked it um, so yeah and I didn't feel good afterward and the only thing I ate yesterday uh, besides a little bit of that uh, pork shoulder I ate some uh, 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 some uh, it's an Asian crackers whole wheat crackers so I, I was working behind the computer I ate that with uh, with 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 coffee this might be the most stupidest uh the dumbest clip ever but i'm coming um i'm in the kitchen um to get a little snack uh it's 9 36 i didn't want to go back to the uh office to get my phone so i just came to warm up my coffee the coffee i made earlier it's kind of cold so uh and i'm gonna grab these uh little uh crackers they whole wheat crackers i don't um uh, multi-grain crackers i bought at the chinese uh place um so i'm there's about eight in this box i'm not gonna eat the entire box but i'm taking the whole thing with me just in case i need more than that because i'll be uh chewing on not chewing like munching on it while i'm working so it's 9 36 so i just wanted to show you guys what i'll be eating because I plan on showing you my food, whatever I'm eating, uh, leading to tomorrow's workout. All right, so that was that yesterday. So I didn't gain anything and I didn't lose anything yesterday. So today I, uh, I weigh myself, same thing. Uh, what was my weight? I forgot what it was, but I have it on, uh, on my phone. Okay, it's 
today is no, December 6th, my second day workout, 127, I lost one pound, well, 1.6 pounds, wow, 127, pretty much on track. So, and I took, I drank a, cough, a cup of coffee this morning and I took a spoon of peanut butter before I left to go to the gym because I felt, yes sir, even though I ate some stuff, uh, the crackers and a little bit of, uh, what is it, pork shoulder, uh, what else did I eat? I don't remember what I ate, what I ate, but um, I felt like I didn't have enough good nutrition. Oh, that's what I ate. I was going to eat for dinner rice and beans and some, uh, what is it, the, the ground meat, the chili that I made. Then when my kids come back from school, I, my youngest, I opened his lunchbox. He didn't eat his, uh, uh, his sandwich. So I ended up eating his sandwich as uh, my dinner because I did not want to throw it away. So if I leave it overnight, it will be no good anymore. So I ate, it was a grilled cheese sandwich. He, he likes, usually I put the, uh, what is it, eggs and cheese and bread. He loves that with the eggs in it. So yesterday I was like, uh, he wanted, uh, he eats eggs a lot. So I said, you know what, I'm not gonna put the eggs in it for him. So I only put the cheese, uh, you know, grilled cheese sandwich for him. He came back, he said he didn't like it. He just looked at it, he didn't like it. So he was supposed to eat, uh, what's that thing, uh, some muffin that uh, my husband bought from Costco. I didn't give it to him because he didn't eat his uh, lunch. So I told him I'm gonna put the same thing in his lunch bag. If he comes back with it, he's not gonna have um, what he wants. And I told him I'm gonna ask his teacher if he ate his food. So uh, he has to learn to try uh, different things. He's very picky with his food. So I purposely put the same thing, a brand new one, because I ate his, uh, whatever he came back with. But I put uh, the same food for him for lunch. He has to learn to eat what I give him. What if one day, God forbid, I don't have anything, and that's all I have for him to eat. He has to eat, uh, you know, something different. But anyway. So today I went to the gym. It's my second day. Uh, uh, my second workout yesterday, like I said, was my rest day. I did the workout. I had some issues with that shoulder. Last night when I was in bed, I put the IQ relief over here because I was starting to feel my shoulder. It was really bothering me um, on Monday when I was in the middle of my workout so that exact spot that's been bothering me quite some time so I'm putting this on before tomorrow hopefully I do I have a pretty good workout tomorrow and I'm still drinking my tea Good night. It felt like the minute I pick up the weight, I felt that spot. Oh my God. And I'm, now I'm starting to think for, of, uh, uh, for Friday, uh, if I'm going to be able to do the workout because I'm going to use the Smith machine. And that workout that I put for, with the Smith machine, I don't even need to go heavy. That thing is a burner. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I was thinking of going tomorrow instead of Friday because my youngest wants to go to New York to view the lights and stuff like that. So I want to conserve my energy for Friday. But the way my shoulder is feeling, I don't think I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to rest it again and make sure I'm ready for Friday. So my workout, I follow the thing and uh, I left it on my bag. What is it? Uh, some of the weights I had to reduce. Uh, I was supposed to do shoulder press after I did all my other uh, chest press and things like that. I decided to leave it and went to the cable and do the flies and all this stuff and then come back to do the shoulder press with the 25 pound. And I decided to uh, leave the camera where I was doing the cable uh, fly 
because I felt like it was a good angle and there were a lot of people uh, by the uh, dumbbells area so I brought the 25 pound did the three sets of the sh standing shoulder press at first I was like let me do it with cable and I was like there's a reason why I put the uh, the dumbbell instead of the cable because I wanted to engage my core uh, the cable you could still engage your core but what I realized is because my shoulder is tired I could rest my wrist on the cable as I'm doing the shoulder press standing shoulder press which will take away from my core um, so I was like you know what even though my shoulder is killing me I'm gonna stick with uh, the dumbbell the 25 pound dumbbell uh, I believe the first set, it could have been 10 repetitions. The second set, I pushed myself to do at least 10 repetitions. The third set, I believe I did 6 repetitions because I could not lift my shoulder, especially this arm. So this is why I'm a little bit worried about Friday with the Smith Machine uh, workout. Uh, I have a video I put on Instagram how I do it. But it's a killer because the bench is going to be at uh, three different levels and then my hand is going to be different position on the bar and I'm going to add weight, I'm going to remove weight. So that's going to be a killer. Uh I'm already mentally I already feel it so today's workout was pretty good uh, I'm gonna sit behind the computer start editing some videos I edit the workout yesterday um, I learned how to put the timer on the uh, on the clips so I think there's some issues with it uh, in some of the clips uh, I, I, I'm not sure if it works properly or not but um, the most of my rest time is between 20 to 40 second rest and uh, there are parts that I didn't want the clip to be too long I just wanted to show you guys the workout and then the rest time in between so but during the rest time I put the, uh, the, the what is it the stopwatch or the clock at the bottom of the screen uh, so you guys could see how long I take between rest time between each uh, sets or and things like that so uh, and then I fast forward it so I don't know by fast forwarding it um, it mess up the timing and stuff like that that's the first time I use the timer um, and I felt like I should show you guys because that's what I put on the plan so anyway I'm glad I'm sharing that plan with you it looks very simple very easy uh, some of the names that I put on the workout it's my own term that I put they probably a, a, sp a specific term for it for those uh, workouts but I show you guys uh, what I meant by those terms so I show you the videos of all of those uh, uh, workouts so anyway let me know how you guys like it and I will put the workout today's workout separately oh one thing um, I, I did abs uh, at the end and I put it as optional depending on how I feel um, I wasn't planning on recording it but uh, the area where I stand on the platform to do that oblique area, um, it's not that sunny outside. The two videos, the two prior videos that I have of it, it was very sunny. And I was trying to angle uh, the camera different, area, different angles to catch uh, a better uh, image of myself doing it. So I, didn't, um, I, I was not accomplished with that. I was not successful with that. You know, I know the light's supposed to be behind the camera, 
but if I put the camera by the window, not only will catch everybody else who's working out, not that it's a big problem, but it's just too much work for me to black people's face. Um, and if I put it uh, by the, uh, why is it, when the window is behind the camera, it will be too close to the machine, so I will not get a good angle. So that's why I was trying to get different angle. I record one set of it today because it's kind of cloudy, thinking that I will get uh, a good angle, but uh, I think it still came out dark. So and then that's the only thing I recorded as the abs. Uh, but it was for the oblique. I was trying to get a, a, a better uh, clips of that particular exercise. But I didn't record anything. I have a, a specific uh, video that shows that particular workout that I did uh, on that machine to do my oblique and to do uh, cable crunch, hang on the squat rack. So I'll show you, uh, I guess, the thumbnail of that video. Uh, usually I say I'm gonna put certain, um, what is it, the length of a certain videos on the uh, description box. Usually once I edit the thing, I forgot what I said in the video and I don't do it. But they all are in my uh, channel, you could search for them. But anyway, I need to get to work. I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee, get to work behind the computer, and then be ready for the kids. Uh, they have more tests. I have to study with my son again. That's it for now about uh it's about 2:45. i'm editing a video that i did today and uh i ate <laughs> the entire box of this there were i believe uh six little packets in there i ate all of them so it it was around 12 since i <laughs> eaten them so now i'm having this is what I was supposed to have yesterday for dinner. Instead, I ate uh, my son's lunch, the grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm having half avocado with quinoa, quinoa and mixed vegetables and some beans. So that's it for now. Let me get back to work.